In this video I'll show you how to fix the issue where the NVIDIA overlay shows FPS and A or doesn't display the FPS counter at all. Let's go step by step and get it working again. First, let's refresh the overlay. Open the NVIDIA app. Click Settings, the gear icon on the left. Find NVIDIA Overlay and turn it off, wait 3 seconds, then turn it on again. Launch your game and press Alt plus R to bring up the performance overlay. If it's still showing FPS and A, continue. If the FPS counter still doesn't work, you can manually link your game so the overlay detects it. Right-click on your desktop and open NVIDIA Control Panel. Go to Manage 3D Settings. Under the Program Settings tab, click Add, then choose your game's executable file, .exe. Click Apply to save the changes. Now open that game again and press Alt plus R, the overlay should detect it and start showing real FPS numbers. The FPS counter relies on a Windows service. We'll make sure it starts correctly every time. In the Windows search bar, type Services and Open Services. Scroll and find NVIDIA FrameView SDK service. Right-click, then select Properties. Set startup type to automatic. Click apply then press OK. Restart your PC and test again with Alt Plus R in-game. Outdated or buggy drivers can break the overlay. In the NVIDIA app, go to Drivers. Click check for updates and install the latest game ready or studio driver, whichever you use. After the install, restart if prompted, then test Alt Plus R again. Sometimes launching through the app ensures the overlay hooks correctly. Go to Library in the NVIDIA app. Click your game then play, then press Alt plus R in-game to check the FPS. If you still see NA, try these quick tweaks. Switch your game to full screen, not windowed slash borderless and test. If nothing worked, open apps. Then go to Installed Apps in Windows, uninstall the NVIDIA app. Download the latest NVIDIA app installer from NVIDIA's website. That's it. Your FPS counter should be back. If this helped, drop a like and tell me which step fixed it for you. For more quick PC fixes, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.